Hi, I'm Carla Sylvester, Education Manager for Martha Stewart Crafts, and today we're talking about punches. I'd like to show you a few different types of Martha Stewart Crafts punches, and then we're going to talk a little bit about how to take good care of your punches. I really like the Martha Stewart Crafts punches for a couple of reasons. The vanilla color works with any decor, and the flat edge lets them sit nicely on a surface so you can line them up on your shelf and easily see all the different designs that you have. To use a regular craft punch, what we like to do is flip it over so you can actually see the design and see where you're punching. And this lets you do a couple of things. It lets you see, it lets you see where you're punching so that you can actually maximize the use of your paper by punching your pieces close together. And also, if you're punching a pattern paper, you can see which part of the pattern you're going to capture with that punch. So you just press the lever, and out comes your punched piece. And I just love this little crown. It's one of my favorite shapes. The so punches come in lots of different shapes, and we have a few examples here. And um, a couple of our designs actually come in several different types of punches. So this hydrangea punch also comes in a tool that gives you multiple hydrangeas of different sizes. And then we also have the pop-up hydrangea punch. And you can see the difference in these two punches if you look at them side by side. The hydrangea craft punch has the design all filled in as one solid piece. And the pop-up punch shows an outline. So when you use that tool, if you flip it upside down, it doesn't look the same as a regular um, punch. And you won't see your paper as you insert it into the tool. And when you go to depress the lever, as I'm doing right now, you don't hear that snap. But see what happens? Because it is a pop-up punch, what happens is those petals get cut, and you can just pop them right off the surface of the paper and get this nice little effect. So we have some examples of projects that have been created with these punches. The pop-up punch created this card here where we have the hydrangeas in a row popped up off the paper. And then with our craft punches, we've created different effects depending on how they're used. You can punch different colors and patterns of papers and group them together to get a mass effect. You can even use the negative space, the space that's left behind when you punch the paper to, uh, to get that kind of effect. And over here on this little box, we've used our punch that creates multiple shapes at the same time and elevated them on foam dots for more dimension. A couple of other punches I want to show you. Our layering daisy punch is a craft punch, but it's designed to be used in multiples. So you can punch it once and get that daisy. But if you punch multiple daisies, and then layer them, you can get different effects. And I have a couple of examples here. Here I've got two daisies layered on top of each other. And then here are three flowers on top of each other. And so if you do that, you can create a card like this one. And you can punch those flowers in different colors and, and get that look of more dimension onto your project. I also want to show you real quickly one of our border punches. Our edge punches create a decorative effect along the edge of a sheet of paper. And they operate just like our other punches. You just put your paper in the punch and depress the lever. And you can start on the edge or in the middle. It doesn't matter where you start. I like to start on the edge. So you just press that once and then slide your paper over so that the design on the paper aligns with the design on the tool. And then punch again. And if you keep doing that, you will create a beautiful decorative border on your paper. So those are a few of the Martha Stewart Crafts punches. Now let's talk about how you're going to take care of them. Because like all tools, they need a little maintenance. To sharpen our punches, we like to punch through a piece of foil. And that little bit of metal punched through your actual tool will help keep the punch sharp. And the the foil won't always come out all in one piece, but that's okay. It's the fact that you punch through it that helps sharpen the tool. And then to keep your tool lubricated and running smoothly, we punch through a little bit of wax paper. And again, especially with a finer design like this daisy, it won't all necessarily come out in one piece, but you could just pick those pieces out with a little craft knife or a pair of tweezers. 
and then you're good to go. And your punches are nice and ready to be used the next time around. So enjoy your Martha Stewart Crafts punches.